half Windsor and the full Windsor. And as promised, I'm gonna show you a more obscure knot that a lot of men don't know about that's pretty cool. And it's called the Shelby Knot. Now the Shelby Knot was named after, popularized by a 1970s news anchorman out of Minneapolis named Don Shelby. This was a time when anchormen were men, you know, like Ron Burgundy, right? Um, the Shelby Knot is works best with spread collars. It leaves you with a, a kind of a triangle knot. And it works really well with ties that are thick and wider. Um, so if you ever bust out one of those 1970s polyesters, let's make a deal type of tie from your dad's tie collection, use the Shelby knot and it will work perfectly. So you're gonna start off with a tie with the wide end on your right, the left end, the narrow end on your left. And unlike the other ties, where you start off with the, the tie facing forward, you're actually gonna flip it like this. Okay, so it's facing reverse. You're gonna take the wide end and bring it behind the narrow end like so. And then you're gonna take the wide end and bring it up and down through the loop between your tie and your neck. Bring it back out to the left, like this. Then you're gonna take it from left to right, over. Then you're gonna take the wide end and bring it up through the loop, like so. Back down. And now you got your, your knot here and just take the wide end, stick it through that loop. And if you want to make that triangle shape, pull on the edges and then just start tightening the knot and bring it up to your neck. Like that. Fold your collar down. There you go. Shelby knot.